My name's Hannah and I'm the C5 Nut. Well, um, this is a different video altogether from the, uh, the G Rally, but um, basically I actually come across one of my friends who is well known into YouTube. Uh, he's called the ZX guy and uh, he luckily enough came to the show with his recently restored uh, ZX. So, Harrison, my friend, this is the ZX Hiya. guy. Yep. And uh, with his lovely ZX car. Um, so Harrison, uh, we were talking about what sort of what video we're going to do, and uh, I think it's only fair for the viewers, my viewers especially, uh, want to know a bit more about you and also about your passion for the ZX. So the questions I've got for you is: is uh, what sort of started you to get into the Citroen ZX you know is there a particular um, style you were interested in or how did you get into the ZX? It, honest truth it was purely by accident I was having financial difficulty and I needed a car and uh, this was here came across this particular vehicle at the right time at the right price and um, it was originally going to be a part-time vehicle until I could afford something better, but it turns out, as far as I'm concerned, this is better than everything else I've owned. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we all yeah. do that, we all do that. So um, I decided to keep it, I decided to break it, stupid of me, I know, and then I uh, decided to fix it again, which is all my videos on YouTube are all about me fixing it again. Yeah, so for you guys out there on my particular channel, uh, this is called The ZX Guy. Uh, I will stick a, a link to his channel in the description. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm very glad you actually turned up today yeah. in the show. It's been lovely um, to see you too as well. Yeah, I mean, it was what you've done to your car is phenomenal. Uh, you you really had to pull the stops out to get this car, MOT. Well, yeah, on Monday it was, uh, today's Sunday because we're at the G Rally. Um, on Monday it was literally uh, in bits. I managed to have my issues with the pump and get that all sorted. Yeah. Got it rushed through an MOT, not rushed through in a bad way. It was just a case of I begged my MOT guy to fit me in where he could. Yeah. Um, and um, got it passed. And um, then literally the engine has, to this moment, only done 300 miles since rebuild. Blimey, that's pretty good going. Yeah. Jeez. So. But mate, uh, we 200 can't... miles of that was here. <laughs> <laughs> so only 100 miles since you've had the MOT before you came to this yeah, rally. Yeah. That's not bad at all, is it? No. Oh well, uh, what do you think to the G Rally? I absolutely love it. I've met lots of lovely people. Um, don't know if this one's lovely or not. <laughs> she is really, just joking. <laughs> Insult! Class this time, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to pick on you, haven't I? <laughs> I see how it's going. So, two YouTubers having a go at each other. Yeah, wonderful. This is going to make one good video, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of fun, <laughs> isn't it? But, um, yeah. So, this is what, your second time at a, a Citroen car rally? It is my second time at a Citroen car rally. I actually had the pleasure of meeting you at the... Um, yeah, that's right, at the, the, uh, the Chevron rally, rally last year. Yeah, yeah. So, um... And then I've pestered you ever since, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for viewers on uh, our channel, is um, it was to Harrison, really, with his channel, that inspired me to make my channel, which is the C5 Nut. So if he didn't make his channel, I wouldn't have had my channel right now. So yep. thanks, mate. I would shake your hand, but obviously with his Covent staff and all their staff, uh, a little wave is in order. Thank you very yeah. much for uh, obviously giving me the inspiration to set up a YouTube channel. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the video here for a minute, guys. I'm going to just quickly go around with uh, the car uh, so you guys at home can see for yourself. And uh, I'll bring you back shortly. Uh, Arison, yeah. so this is your lovely car you've just recently restored. Yep. So do you want to tell uh, my viewers um, exactly what you've done to it? Well, um, literally back in October 2019, I was uh, just driving and using it as my daily. I ended up really breaking the engine by going through knee-high water, which uh, effectively killed the engine by hydro-locking it. But April 
2020, I decided to utilize lockdown and COVID to my advantage. And what I've had done is, what I've done myself on this is literally, it's been fully under, underneath, all welded underneath, painted underneath and underbody sealed. All the interior has right. been out. Um, it's had, um, sorry, all the interior has been out and it's been um, painted and welded inside with replacement seats and uh oh <laughs> basically we found the engine yeah it? and it, and then when we come to the engine bay i'll I tell you what do you, do you want to open yeah, up the yeah, uh, open, I, up. open up the old bonnet for us so we can actually see refill and uh refurbished engine and i've done that single-handed me myself blimey so do you have like any sort of like mechanical background or is this just all off learning offline um Early years, I done a year at college for very, very basic um, motor mechanics. Yeah. Which is basically they just teach you where the dipstick is, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> I done a little bit at a friend's garage for about a year, where I learned how to do things like timing belts and servicing. But when it comes to engine rebuilds and gearboxes and stuff like that, it is just me getting my hands dirty and enjoying my time learning, with some reference guides like the Haynes Manual and internet sites and um, just actually using YouTube myself, even though I've now got my YouTube channel, kind of caused me to say, pretty much teach myself a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, uh, and I don't think people actually realize that owning a Citroen is brilliant, but sometimes when it actually breaks down, you actually learn a lot more about the car, fixing it yourself, rather than just taking it to some garage for, some person to rip you off because citrons especially uh i mean you've got like the lovely bx there and uh the c6 is over there and things like that uh as soon as the garage actually sees a citron they for some reason hack up the price so i think in your case instead of forking out a lot of money you want to sort of learn oh i couldn't put a price on how much it's cost me because i still need to work that out but I know, I know for a fact, I have saved a lot of money by doing it myself. And um, <clears throat> this, all these jobs that I've done to this car, I have done in the past to various others, but one job on, like independently, I've never done all the jobs and put all the jobs into one vehicle like I have with this. So it's the most I've ever done to a car and I've learned so much through the process and I've enjoyed the step of do the process of doing it all the way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I can't get over that you painted the engine and mate you've done a wonderful job i mean that's a nice is, looking engine isn't it that is proper high temperature i think it's made by a company called e-tech uh spray paints um high temperature paint it goes up to about 300 degrees if i'm not mistaken yeah as far as the temperature it can hold um i could be wrong on that temperature but yeah so. well happy days my friend so there's this uh, um, wonderful job on what he's done with his car. Um, if you guys want to see more of his work, please look at uh, the description down below. I will add a link to his uh, YouTube channel. Um, so Harrison, do you want to, um, could you give me any sort of like uh, updates on what you've got planned for your next sort of project? Oh, now that would be telling. Oh. <laughs> well, okay, there is, an, there is another car to be gracing the channel soon and uh, if you've got any idea of what we're looking at here you'll have an idea of what the next car is going to be <sighs> well i don't know about you people at home but i'm quite eager to find out so uh, if you haven't subscribed to his channel please do and uh, of course if you haven't subscribed to the c5 nut please do um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to probably talk to some uh, talk to Harrison some more, and uh, hopefully we uh, come back again at some point. So uh, if you like my channel, please give us a thumbs up. If you like with whatever you've seen down below, just give me a comment. That's fine. And uh, any people out there who are enjoying themselves in this wonderful weather, enjoy yourself. Take care. See you soon. Well, that was uh, quite an interesting. Um, I just want to uh, add this last little bit to this video. Um, I just want to say a congratulations to Harrison, the ZX guy.
Well done, mate. Yes, you won a prize at the G Rally. Um, at the time when we were doing the interview, uh, we weren't, you know, that was sort of during the day. Um, but towards the end of the day is when the show closes and that's when they give out prizes. So, again, my friend, well done. You worked so hard on your car and I'm so, so happy you've been able to make that rally and um, hopefully just hopefully um, we might see more of the ZX guy on this channel so I won't go into too much detail but let's just say there's things in the pipeline for next year so anyway if you like this uh, if you like this so far please give us a thumbs up any comments will be appreciated and uh, if you haven't already please subscribe uh, to either the um, the ZX guy I will leave uh, a link to his channel in the description and if you are new to my channel please subscribe and look at some fantastic uh, projects we've done recently uh, there's a C5 caravan we're doing uh, a process of uh, building a C5 into a pickup and and just and there's a new car on the block well that's a, a video for next time so uh, whatever you're up to today please just take it easy and uh, thank you very much for watching take care see you soon